know you're I know you're at the beach, but oh, you're, do you teach with that beach behind you? <laughs> I wish I were at the beach. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, I know, but do you do you teach with that background behind you? <laughs> yes, I do. I That's sure so do. That's so funny. Okay. So um I'm gonna show you crash course. Like we could use any of these videos. Um and we're gonna look at one of them today that just strips your fancy. But uh, what comes with these is like the the link to the YouTube videos right here, the link to her, oh. the the link to Kahoot is right here, and I've never really done quizzes with my kids. That's something I've never done. Like quizzes, I tried. Right, so that. she's yeah, I like. She's it. got all of these. So let's just like um like here's weathering and erosion. I don't watch that one. I don't watch this one. I don't watch. Yeah, that we did one. weather and erosion. We did that. We get landforms. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a change of scenery. Sabrina talks about some of the reasons things can change quickly or slowly. I just that's saw that. what we're doing. That's what we're doing actually with um, tomorrow. That's what Mr. I need to see that video. Can I see that? Okay, one? So let's, okay. So let's, let's do this one then. So we're going to watch this video together. Um, and what I've noticed with my kids is that uh, with the kids, sometimes their internet connections will not work with how, well, if you show YouTube videos, you mm -hmm. got to fall down the 240 so it's a little bit blurrier it's not gonna that means it's just not gonna stream uh as much i guess data for their computers to go to <laughs> so um tell me if it, okay. i'll stop the video here in uh, a second or so but it's not even come it's like it, it just froze i always I, I forget to put share computer sound on so often are you are you making sure that you're doing that yeah i do i have another question do you you know so let's watch this video and then uh, we'll play the Kahoot afterward and then you'll see kind of what and I'll show you all the episodes she has and stuff like that and you'll be able to see it this afternoon. Okay. I love change. It gives me something to look forward to. It's fine. Okay, good. Sometimes I'll do the, um, I'll take it out of this and do the default view. Tell me if this lags, because I just need to know. Our feet is constantly moving. That's right, the Earth's geosphere, as stationary as it seems, is actually moving. And because of all of this, all of the landforms, that is, the features of the Earth, landforms form and change over time. I always stop here at the big question and talk about it. This is the big mm -hmm. question, that things change over time, okay? So you could, uh, you could do a lot here. I don't do much. I just I just bring something up about change, you know? I'm okay. not I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, we talk but, about how things change slowly and quickly. The like, yeah. like surface, that's like erosion and weathering is slow. And earthquakes, and yeah. landslides, volcanoes are quick changes. And that's what oh, yeah. So you could talk. That's awesome. Yeah. You can talk about quick changes, slow changes. That's mm -hmm. good. Um, and what I would do to make yourself look cool in front of the kids is to like talk about some talking points she's going to talk in the video. Like Sabrina's gonna take us and do this, this, and this today, but I've never seen this video. You know what I mean? Because if you make the point and then she says the point that you made, mm -hmm. it just gives you credibility with the kids. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. Oh. You're gonna say what? Wait, wait. Plates? You know, I, I thought there was lava underneath our feet. You know, this, just kind of get them stopped. You're talking to the kids again. They're listening. You're making point. You're trying to be fair. So slowly, in fact, that we don't even notice them moving. The Remember, these videos are like three and a half minutes long, but I'm going to show you that we started at 1010, and by the time we're done with this, it'll be probably 1030. The plates cruise along at about two to five centimeters a year, which is about as fast as your fingernails grow. These plates can move away from each other, toward each other, slowly in other ways, through things like erosion and weathering. You already know that these are... This um, is perfect. Yeah, this I know is it perfect. is. <laughs> this this exactly is the lady... No, like... This is the lady I know I can be. Like I know I can do this. She's good at, she's very good at editing. Like with this this extra stuff up here, erosion, weathering. Uh, you could even have um, like she has worksheets. She has worksheets, and I bought all the worksheets too. So there's really? a work that goes with this video. Um, what the kids would have to do is like write out the vocab word erosion, weathering. She's just she's she's a person that's thought this through and is has done everything that I need to do. You know. Yeah. Here's the your mom. powerful forces that change rock through the effects of wind, water, and ice. It was formed by the Colorado River and other forms of water slicing through a plateau of rock through erosion over many, many, many years. If you're the impatient sort, though, have I got new... Has anyone ever been to the Grand Canyon? Oh, let's go to the Grand Canyon right now. So here's what I do, and I, I do this all the time when I'm teaching, right? I go on these little trips... 
Uh, they can see it. Well, yeah, especially if they've never been to it. You know, I might pull up another uh, – something very cool that just popped into my head the other day as we were learning about air currents. And David Blaine, the magician, just did this really cool stunt where he held onto a bunch of helium balloons and mm -hmm. he into the atmosphere. It was called a stunt called Ascension. So um, I just like uh, we're gonna go here and look up drone footage over Grand Canyon. Okay, that's just gonna be something the, cool, the kids might like. All right, so guys, everybody loves uh, drone. Everybody loves drone. I want a drone. Here's the Grand Canyon we're talking about, and Sabrina was just talking about how um, a river actually has cut this into, uh, you know, like this formation. And you could talk about your slow change. Your slow change, this is over millions of years. All right, we're just going to go through this video real quick. I'm gonna just going to skip on through. I love looking at some drone footage just like everybody else. You can maybe talk about this bend in the river and look at you know what? And we talk about sedimentary rock. Um, Landforms can change quickly. I oh mean, really quickly, as in within a few minutes. <laughs> so let's take a look at different ways that landforms can change by exploring a couple of particularly famous examples. Let's start with one of nature's most famous quick changes. A volcano in the Pacific Northwest of the United States called Mount St. Helens did some serious landform rearrangement in May of 1980. The surface of the earth went from this to this in a matter of minutes. The force of the eruption caused the largest- Sorry, I got excited when she's talking about quick changes and slow changes. It's just like- <laughs> I think the universe is connecting you to landslide in history, which changed even more the way the land looked and still looks today all around the mountain. But most landforms change in the White Mountains of New Hampshire because the shape of the landform looked like the profile of an old man. It was nicknamed the old man of the mountain. Geologists think that this old man was probably created through erosion by glaciers. And, you know, you could that's that just stems something in my head or maybe I'm just feeling a little creative. It's just like you could even go into neat natural rock formations mm -hmm. you know you could even um and you could show mount rushmore and how that's not you know natural. you know like do you guys like think a horse. That, look at that you guys think that this one's real no we're not did you see the horse did you just see that horse yeah horse? yeah i totally see it yeah is that something that they made that that man made or is that just naturally made did you see the horse? no it's something you could it's something you could ask your kids but i i don't yeah, I don't know. I don't think this is real. This is too perfect. You know, like nature yeah, doesn't. That's a horse. Somebody made that. That's neat, though. If na if nature did that with those ears and stuff, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, but you could you could totally stem that stem that question on the kids too. You know sheets of ice over 200 million That's years awesome. ago and there the old man stayed exposed to wind and snow and ice in other words weathering and more erosion he looked pretty much the same for millions of years until 2003 when finally the whole formation tumbled off the side of the oh, mountain no. the old man of the mountain is a great example of how landforms are both created i didn't know about that and continuously changed in ways we don't even notice until we notice them i love this she always comes with a conclusion to wrap up the video so it doesn't just like organize it in their minds, it organizes it in mine. When wind and water change the shape of mountains or cause canyons to form. And that's totally fine with me. I can always go for a change of scenery. <laughs> She's always got a pun at the end. You know what? That is absolutely perfect because that's exactly what the, um, our standards talk about. We're supposed to show how land- Oh, I know. She's, no, that's, the, it's crazy. It's like she's fourth and fifth grade. That's what she did. Seriously, that was awesome. That's what she did. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make money like she is. She's, she makes money off of ad revenue on YouTube and then from that company. Uh, so we're going to go. I want you to go to Kahoot.it. I would, I, right after this, this is one of my active checks for the kids. So like they just got done watching a cool video. Um, guess what? It's been 11 minutes since we started. Okay. So like with a three and a half minute video, you just taught 10. All right. I hate Put adventure on. I'm waiting for you to play this game. <laughs> I, I'm putting the game pin in right now. All right, All right and this is where I have. Um... This is where I have my kids put in their first names. And for instance, um, yesterday in my this last nice. class, my last class. I went through here on my active check. This is like, this would be my active check. 
So this is how I know that the kids are in my class, they're playing, uh, and they're like actually with me on the screen. So I would, I would like check your name off. Oh, that's active with me today. And then we'd start. I need a notebook. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the top most layers of the earth are made up of saucers, plates, cups. Of <laughs> They're silly. Hold on. I lost it. Okay. So this is going to move through automatically because I accidentally clicked it. But uh, you can pause here. You can show the, that picture again. And again, you're just reiterating. You are, um, what do they say? Concreting it in the kids. You would have probably taken another I would have taken another 10 minutes on that Kahoot so you, just hit, you just hit like a really effective curriculum spot and you taught about it for five minutes you know and then now is the time that I would go over to like Google Classroom and start start them on their assignment or, or something else you know I'll show you my um, kind of what I have planned for next week 930 okay all right, so this is what I did yesterday. I did a water cycle text, and I don't have these linked because I didn't have the time. But I did a Sabrina video yesterday called the Dino Dinosaur P, and I do that every Tuesday. I do a Sabrina every Tuesday. I do a study jams every Thursday. I down here, Sabrina video up, up, and away. Study jams clouds. Sabrina video weather currents. She does a weather current one. That's exactly what I teach about. And then I have a study jams weather tools uh, activity that we have for that day. So I do study jams Thursdays, I do Sabrina's on Tuesdays, and I do Bill Nye on Mondays. I use Bill Nye sometimes as well. Yeah, but the thing, yeah, so like you can um, all star materials, Bill Nye. Mm -hmm. You know about that. This is where you get the free um, worksheet for Bill Nye, right? But how do you attach that to Canvas? I have issues with still trying to get things into Canvas so the kids can use them. You know, you might have to just um, copy and paste. Like, I've done that before. Copy and pasted from his um, worksheets and then create your own document. You know, you might be... Is, you, yeah. How do you get it on... You know how when, you're, um, when you post an assignment to Canvas and you know when they, they're doing text entry? I want it... Yeah space so they can just go ahead and give me the answers in that space i don't know how to do that yeah. okay. um well i can i can show you how um so you have like right here you have your um erosion video earthquakes earth's crust um earth seasons is this bill nye yeah this is all bill yeah. nye um you know so you can come in here and, and see any of those that he has and um, that could, I don't know, that's, that's just like a huge meat of my, my content is those three, those three things, those three video type things. Um, Kahoot. I use Kahoot a lot too. But that's just, that's just one of them. I'm telling you, that's just one of hers. I have like all five of them. I pay like 30 bucks. Like her a lot. Crash course. Yeah. So like she did, uh, like this is like fifth grade curriculum, you know, like we'd ecosystems, force and interactions. But I think, I can't remember what you do next. You change the battery in your smoke alarm? But it bothers me. It really does bother me. You know what bothers me? You not changing the batteries in your smoke alarm. Okay, I'll change it. I'll change There's some cool stuff here on Crash Course. You know, mm -hmm. um, I just went to the, the Crash Where's Course. Where's that from? It's like CrashCourse.com or whatever. And so they have your, your channels. You have Crash Course, Crash Course Kids. And I do the Crash Course Kids, I think. So I do. Now, you have to pay for this? No, like this. Well, hello there. These YouTube Welcome videos are free, course. but what I'm saying is the way that she has it organized for me, I bought this for 30 bucks. You know? Oh, really? Like, I think I did. Yeah, was, I think it was 30 bucks. Let's we'll see. Which one were we on? Right, team of scenery. Okay. So she's got her answers right here. And she's got her um, worksheet, like blank worksheet here. So you could, um, you if you had. Like, uh, oh, you know what you could do? You could put this in Pear Deck, and the kids could write in the answer with their fingers. Oh, my God, I'm a genius. I could go write that down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
right there, that's what I was saying. How do I take that sheet if I wanted to and yeah. put it in Canvas? So that I can create it and keep it moving. So yeah. what I just, yeah, no, the idea that just popped into my head was we could use Nearpod or Pear Deck and you can have a presentation going and you can have a drawing page and you can write out the earth's plates cruise along at a speed of about what? And while you're watching the video, you can have the kids just like go back and forth between two tabs and they can write in their, they can write it in with their fingers. Oh, so they're writing number one to answer, put in the answer to one. Yeah, because now you're actually having them do something that's very active intensive, you know, like you're, you're having them stay active every 40 seconds, you know, so it's, that's a lot, or not even 40, there's 10 questions, it was three minutes long, so you're asking them to stay active every 25 seconds. And this sheet is based on a video we, we, we saw? Yeah, it's the same thing. And that's perfect because they're, they, they, they were listening for the answers. Like yeah, the grant, yeah, so look, the, I know this is um, super small. That's my bad. Um, here. And the thing is, I like this too, because this, this worksheet, now we know how to take this worksheet and, and make it interactive to a video or something visual. Because that's the thing yeah. you're going to get it, where you just you read the little book and then let's answer these questions. I mean, they'll get it somewhat, but the visual is better. She's got videos to go along with it, and that's what's good. So go ahead and type in the um, that code there, and then as soon as I see your end, then we can start. I don't have to do. I don't have to do it on my phone because if I put it, it's gonna kick me off. That's fine. It's That's cool. Kick me I think it's better that way. What? What's better? I don't know. Whatever you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that this doesn't work well. Um, Pear Deck doesn't work well on all devices. You're right. So let's let's see how it does on your phone. I think that's perfect. Okay. iPhone doesn't work well. If you ever get logged in, oh my gosh, you're slower than the kids. <laughs> I have glasses on. I'm sorry. No, no, hold on. Here, this is what I'm gonna do. Just this is what I do for the kids too. Here you go. All right, everybody. I can't wait around forever. So uh... <laughs> there you go. No, she didn't, no, he you. didn't do that to me. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you remember how no, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Remember, I'm just kidding. You remember how we start off the year and I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember that? All right. <laughs> All right. So this is a drawable slide. Water and ice. Formed by the Colorado River and other forms of water slicing through a plateau of rock through erosion. All right. So number four, what river was that? And then like you can have, this could be a mics on activity and the kids could say Colorado. Okay. I want you to write it in the blank. Go ahead on Pear Deck now. Go ahead and show me your answer. Okay, it looks like Yvette's got the right answer here. Um, she's written Colorado. <laughs> Alrevada. Okay, so um, yeah. Hey, it's my finger. <laughs> <Put another one. laughs> Anyway, followed by which river, and then we can just like pop back over and like if I had another slide here, I could um, I could go next, and then we could go back to the video and wait for the next um, answer. And how did I get those answers? I copied and pasted them from um, from yeah. her worksheet here. You know, so uh, I just made um, that Sabrina video, which is you know a twenty minute lesson, very very interactive. Yeah. And you can actually, like I saw, like you can, like here, like it just, if you're looking at my screen, it's just blank. That's the slide. Yes. I, can put some, I can put some like cool things in here, like a river or maybe, maybe even a picture of it in the background. Oh, Colorado River. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can, um, I'm going to show responses. And when I hit show responses, it's going to show all the kids' responses. It's not just going to show yours. Um, I can go like this. I can go to grid layout and... Uh, your name would be here, my kids' responses here. And then I would be like, yo, Anaya, I need you active. What are you doing? You know, I could even then get on my phone if I was really handy and techie and like put her name in there and send a message and say, hey, she's not active, you know, to her mom. Um, there's a lot you can do with This is what I do. I'll pop up a, like this Grand Canyon. I'll pop up a picture of it so they can see the Grand Canyon. 
and then keep it. Yeah, and you know what you could do? Um, let's see. I'm going to see if there's a, a background of um, Grand Canyon on your virtual background. <laughs> you changed yeah. I don't know you how to do that, but yeah. If they, I'm going to see if they even have one. Do your virtual background if that's your own. Yeah. I, have, I choose a virtual background. I don't know how to put my own. I put something else. Sure. Yeah, well, you'll have to see. hold on because we got to get this beach thing out of here. Hold on. Um, so add, I like the beach thing. I wish I were there. It makes me feel better. I know, but it's so generic. Everybody's got that one. I don't okay. care. I love it. It's, it's yeah. where I wish I were. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Anymore. So uh, you do Zoom virtual video background. Zoom to video background? You put in some kind of sign. Well, I got to tell this helicopter to shut up. Hey, shut up! All right. And then um, now it's like and like you can get free ones. So, come on, come on, come on. Follow me. Follow me to the prompt. Here. Okay, so we can choose any one of the videos. Yeah, let's get it. Do you want to be at a daylight rave? Wait a minute. I lost you, honey. Oh, there you are. Oh, my. oh no, I'm right here. You should be able to see my screen at least. Like I'm moving around on a. I on see it. Pictures. Yeah. I like that. Can't. Oh, 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 oh. Well, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I did. I did the um, Zoom virtual video backgrounds at the beach. That's all I, I did. Yeah. And where'd you go to to get that? I just Googled it. That's all I did. So I Googled the free, like, and then it says free virtual backgrounds. So I'm going to come to here. I'm going to look at the one that I like because I, I came up with a cool one. I like that one. I did this one the other day. This one was cool. No one else and had stuff. And it's water. Yeah, but the like the boats are bobbing up and down and everything, you know? Yeah. And it's it's just neat. So like you, you pass, this yeah, is you pass a beach over this. bar dock, though. This doesn't say that. Oh, this is cute. These are some neat ones. Yeah, right. Oh, so, so here, so I can load more and I can find out more. Um, but um, here, let's uh, let's do this one. I just see download free, and it's downloaded. I have it. And, and so then you go and do what? And then I'm actually going to have to um, mess with the screen. So give me a second because it's going to be a task view that you hate. I have to. And then I go down to it to it says stop video. And I, you know, in the down left hand corner when you're just All like, right, oh. I, you know. so like on the very bottom, you know, you have your, um, your tools, your mute, stop video, security, participants, polls, chat. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little arrow on stop video and you go to mm -hmm or choose virtual background or something. Yeah. And then you go to, and then you go to add, add, add video. Yeah, that add I, I'm in virtual background. I don't see add, oh, the plus sign. Yeah. Add, oh, add image and, I, and video. Okay. Yeah. And, and I put it in, um, I don't have my green screen on, but you can see that it works. You know, like now I have something that's completely um, different, you know, I see it. I, I see most of you. <laughs> I see right. that yeah. behind you that's coming to the forefront. That's like really weird. Well, I have so much green in the background with like natural green leaves and everything that it's kind of picking up it up as a green screen, you know? Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I, maybe I'm coming hard of hearing. It beeped right there. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't. <laughs> it's driving them crazy. I probably need to change those though, huh? Wow, I don't hear it. I really don't hear it. I don't hear it either. Hold on. I swear to God. I swear to God I've been hearing that beep like every minute, like once every minute this entire time. And so I've been doing beep. Like every time I hear it, I'll tell you beep. <laughs> hear it when you hear it you tell me because i don't hear it so right there right there i just heard it oh my god you gotta oh my god you you had me thinking i was crazy oh my god <laughs> oh jesus
You make yeah. me laugh. <laughs> I, will, I will share these secrets with you. <laughs> um, so I haven't used these this year because it's it's just been too difficult for me to kind of transition to digital with it, even though they were digital before, which is of that. Um, and this is how the kids have to choose their grade pretty much in my, in my um, class. They either would get a three or four or five. Um, so like the fives, you know, like I, I matched that up with like the EOG type thing because we weren't going to get ones or twos. So you, in order to get a three on your writing quiz, you had to predict what would happen if the barometer showed a sudden decrease in air pressure and predict what would happen if the hygrometer read 90% and increased to 100%. You, that's speaking Chinese to you, but my kids knew what that meant last year. So, okay. so basically, those here's what they, well, here's standard. what they would do. That yeah, was the so, standard. Yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty much. And I, I just wrote this in my own language. And then here were my, um, my rubric stuff, 40 words or less. You can't, you can't write over 40 words. You need to do three vocab words in your sentence and you need to underline them. And then you need to run spelling and grammar check. That's all you had to do to get a three. So if you wanted a four, you had to, you had to answer the first two questions and then you had to answer another one, right? And that's, and a lot of Add this- Add it on, okay. That's, that's, yeah. a, that's a rubric, that is. Right, exactly. And then this yeah. right here, um, this right here was, in the morning, the thermometer read 55 degrees. You know, this is the fourth question, but you had to answer the prior three questions. Add and one more. 90 words or less, five vocab words underlined, and almost all capitals and periods are used correctly because you use spelling and grammar check. Um, I had a really good response last year with my, um, with my class with this. And I'm going to see if I can pull up any well, because of Because it makes them accountable and they can see what their grade's going to be. No, right. But that's, that's the crazy thing of that because um, what would happen, the hit turn in and then I would get it. I would come into their document. I would read it. I would give them a grade and then I would give them a comment and I would send it back to them. And I was doing that consistently last year. Yeah. So they were getting like one-on-one, -on -one, like I considered that my one-on-one -on -one meeting with them every week. Yeah. You know? And that's why I think that's why I want to use rubrics because it really, really does allow the kids to understand what they're supposed to be learning. <laughs> I mean, and, and right. So I think she really tried here, and this is what she wrote me. Uh, when a barometer shows the decrease, that means we are going to to have lousy weather. That's true. She's got it. If the hygrometer shows ninety, then increases to hundred, then we're going to have light rain. She's got it. Uh, okay. If the barometer shows an increase in air pressure, that means we're going to have light air pressure. That means that we're going to have light rain. She's off here. The reason why in the morning it was 55 degrees and then in the afternoon it was 40 because the cold front moved in. She's got it. Okay. She's there. That's why the jet stream pushes cold fronts towards us. So she's, she's using all of this in context. This isn't Google answer. So uh, with the one, two, three, four, five underlined words, but she answered the, she did answer this one and did a very good job. She answered both of these very well. Um, this one right here, she didn't get. So I would, I would, I would feel bad for her and give her the five just because she did. She tried so hard because I'm such a sucker. Um, but did I would. She get the ninety words or less and all that stuff. Yeah, and so like I can come, like I, I tell them to, I teach them how to do like their word count, you know. So like I'm teaching them, like look at this. See that she even did ninety words. That's incredible. So I actually think I probably gave her a five on this just because like. She oh. needed, like, she needed this five because she tried so hard, and um, so yeah. So like, that's how I use, that's how I used rubrics last year, and I haven't, I have not worked it into online learning yet. Like, I won't work, I won't work that in until maybe, oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is big, you know. It's got to be trained on this, and so I noticed that. I started uh, having them turn it in, but then I had to like scroll down every time. So I actually started having them put their answers up on top. Hey, I hope you do enjoy that science PLC. You might have watched this for 30 seconds and learned something real quick uh, just to keep kids accountable, to challenge students' critical thinking, and possibly to increase the accountability in your classroom. You could maybe change your virtual background to something a little bit cooler than what Zoom just offers. And we also showed you some really great connected resources. And hopefully this can help you out with some tech issues. Thanks for watching.